Uh, it's been a few days since I recorded a video. Just um, closed on my new house this past Friday. Moved in over the weekend and still unpacking. I was thinking to myself how um, you know I'm in this point where I've been working on my online business and growing um, my capabilities and skills, you know, learning how to um, advertise and do all that good stuff online and um, hopefully be doing some connection, um, traction, marketing, where I'm really just connecting with people who have the same interests and desires as, as myself and uh, connecting with you. And one of the things that was a big driver for me to to really start looking into online business opportunities and um, how I can get those skills was, at the time, a fear that I wasn't going to have the, the job that I um, was working in for over six years. As a contractor, I went year to year. And... I was basically going through different contracts every year, working for the same client, but had four different companies. And then eventually um, I got moved over to a permanent position where now I have some stability. And I'm grateful for that job. I'm grateful for that stability because it helped me to qualify for the mortgage that I have now and the new home. And I really, I, I don't have any regrets. Every decision and step that's brought me to this point um, with my family and with my um, you know day job and my transition over to becoming completely uh, financially independent and doing uh, my passions as my full-time lifestyle versus a career path you know I'm on that journey and I'm making those steps toward that and that's exciting and I just feel like you know that anticipation that you're on the the cusp on the edge of that major breakthrough and really getting the traction momentum I'm there and I, I can I can feel that um, and I was just watching a video from my mentor Stuart Stuart Ross um, and he was talking about not approaching how can I make money online but how can I provide value in this digital economy and I think that first question of how can you provide value to others and have it marry up with what you're already skilled or talented or interested in doing and pursuing that's where you find that sweet spot um, I know I'm continuing to work on that and um, I'm just curious, you know, is that something that interests you? You know, being able to take what you're already loving and enjoying doing for free and make it into an income source. Is that something that you feel you have that can provide value to others? Um, I think I think each of us has something that we probably don't appreciate the true value in it um, that we may take for granted and we really can provide uh, to others that it will be invaluable um, so just a thought for you to ponder is how could you provide value to others um, whether that's consulting uh, freelancing your skills um, customer service skills for another internet company sure there's something that you're good at that you love doing that you could uh, monetize and make into an income source if you really gave it some thought and then how are you going to uh, apply that and are you going to find uh, YouTube videos for free maybe to do that training or um, really do like I did go through an educational service find a community of like-minded people that are on the same journey and um, 
kind of support each other along that are on our separate unique paths um so anyway i hope you're doing great and uh, i'm just really thankful and excited uh, at where i am now and the trajectory of where i'm going soon <laughs> all right have a great day bye